Here's the teacher accused of running a punter's club in class when he should have been taking PE. Phil Saunders allegedly spent half his lessons on a gambling syndicate with students until one of the school kids spoke up. Mr Saunders, Steve Marshall, the current affair. Do you have anything to say about these charges? You don't. No. This teacher's in trouble. Mr Saunders, do you have a problem with gambling? But it's his mum who might need to be sent to the naughty corner. Do you see anything troubling? Mr. S excuse me, excuse me, what are you doing? Please don't touch the camera. This isn't the sort Saunders. of exam Phil Saunders, Saunders had planned. Do you see anything troubling about these charges? About gambling with minors? Hauled before the court, accused of running a betting syndicate with his 16-year-old performing arts students in early 2021. Was it a performing arts class or was it an economics class, sir? The Punters Club, allegedly taking place during class time, at Wollongong Performing Arts School on the New South Wales South Coast. What are the odds of you beating this? What are the odds of victory? Speak to your lawyer. Saunders forking out for established Sydney barrister Mark Higgins during a week-long hearing. If you're a betting man, who's your money on? Parents of other kids at the school have plenty to say about the allegations. It's appalling. Uh, yeah, I'm not very happy about it. If you're teaching about the evils of gambling and economics, sure, it's not a great uh, saving strategy. It's not acceptable. Saunders taught PE classes and was apparently popular among students. The kids really thought of him as like one of their friends, not really as, I don't know, like a teacher. Were you more than a teacher to these students? Were you their mate? Were you their punting mate? The teacher allegedly encouraged a betting syndicate involving 12 male students in his class. I'm not super concerned about it, personally as a parent, um, but that's probably just more about my trust in my own kids. The court heard students placed gold coin punts on English Premier League football games and their selections were written on a whiteboard. One student told the court when the class saw the betting board every week, it would entice more students to play. Another said students would take money out of their pockets and place it on the teacher's desk. But a student raised the alarm when she told another teacher what was allegedly going on. A fellow teacher told the court that Saunders loved to have a punt on the horses at the weekend. In fact, he owned shares in two racehorses. And when it came to football, well, Saunders is a passionate Liverpool fan. Has your love of gambling got you in hot water here? A magistrate will decide if this was an ultimate own goal by a teacher earning close to a hundred grand a year. Can afford to smile about it. I don't think that that's the role of it, the education system. Wollongong's Lord Mayor doesn't see the funny side. The dynamic of it is, is a catastrophe. Gordon Bradbury is also a church volunteer who spent years helping people battle their gambling demons. You've got to be very conscious of what sort of things you're imparting, not only in the formal education process, but, but your role modelling. So, um, yeah, anything that would violate that or lead uh, a student or a young person down the wrong path is uh, yeah, an incredible responsibility on the part of anyone in teaching. Anything to say after today's hearing, Mr Saunders? The New South Wales Department of Education has placed Saunders on alternative duties which do not involve teaching. The school hasn't communicated much about it. You've got to respect people's privacy and these sort of things, so I kind of understand the school's position. We're not really allowed to talk about him at school, but yeah, we haven't really heard great things about that situation. If this case was a footy game, are you winning or losing? Clearly, mum's the word. Do you see anything troubling?